Welcome to this video of the tutorial list about programming the ESP32 board in an easy way. In video B07, we saw how to make an Android app to get sensor data. I get a request to show how to get multiple uh, data and show them on uh, the app. The solution will be on sending the HTTP request. We will add a keyword. Here it will be a number, uh, for example, 1 for sensor 1, 2 for sensor 2 and so on. When the ESP32 receives the request, we will clear it and keep only the keyword. In the end, we will make an if statement. If keyword is equal to 1, we will answer by the value of sensor 1. If it is 2, I will answer by the value of sensor 2 and so on. This is our old code. Uh, this block will clear the HTTP request. Now, I will make my if statement. If I receive 1, I will answer by a random number. If I receive 2, I will answer by the internal temperature sensor. If I receive 3, I will answer by the internal hall effect sensor. Now let's upload the program and see the result. Now with the browser, I will send some uh, HTTP request with the keywords and as you can see, I'm getting the right value of sensor according to the keyword. Now we will move to the Android app. Here I will add two other buttons and the labels where I will display a sensor's data.
Here I changed the HTTP request for the first button. I will add two other web components to handle the other requests. Uh, it will be it's also possible to make it with one web component but uh, it's a, a little bit uh, tricky now i will uh, just uh, duplicate and change uh, the code What you see here is uh, my phone. I will click on the first uh, button and uh, I see the result. For the second and the third button, I need to change the display uh, to the HTML uh, format. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.